Okay, uh, I'm going to do a new, this is a new opening. I actually shot before I can it because the plan changed in the middle of it. Uh, today I'm going to show you where I made some standoffs. I started making a phone stand. It was originally for a gift that I'm not going to mention, uh, but it didn't work out. And the reason it didn't work out is because phones Android. Androids use a lot longer plugs. And the idea of what I was trying to do is make two brass plugs to go on the stand that I already made to raise the phone up tall enough. So it didn't work. So basically what's going to happen here when you see the video is where I machined the little brass plugs and stuff to go on the stand. And then there's going to be a picture of the stand at the end. Then I might throw a, I think there's a clips going in that work rest that I modified as a picture. It's not a clip. It's a picture of this in the machine part sitting on it. So... That's going to be the week, this week's video when I put it together. And when I get the material, which will be next week, because I ordered it off eBay, and I'm going to completely build a new stand and we'll make a video of it separate. All right. Have a good day and enjoy it. Don't forget, that even though it's the end of it, or it's going to be at the beginning, it's going to, you'll see all the pictures. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. And what I'm going to do is just mark this right quick. And like I say, all this is is to, so I can start turning this down. Now the sound is all brass. I could make it out of plastic. I don't have no round white plastic. And so... I'm using brass screws for accents. Uh, I can afford to just take a piece of brass and hold it down. Those you might ask why I do this, I give you simple answer. I mean, I've got a lot of junk plastic. And if I got to buy plastic, I mean, it's just ridiculous. So, got about a hundred thousand. I'll, I'll take a light cut. It just, I know I've got it hung out there a lot. I may end up re-chucking it. They don't look it's just chattering a lot. I might put another tool in and get the finish just to make it look better. That is a little bit rough looking there, folks. I usually like to use this tool because it's my favorite one. But uh, we'll just put a oh, do, do, do. I know what I'm looking for. I got it here. Just give me a second. That's ready to another turn. I have one. Oh, I have here it is. One of these little <laughs> negative rates. Uh, tools. I can go back and take use it to do that. I might need to hang it back a little bit. But it is the insert's dull on the other tool, so I'm a bit lazy today. looks better. Like I said, this don't have to be exact. I just want it to be around a half inch in diameter. And that's 10 over. That's close enough for what we're doing. The old saying, that close enough for government work. Okay. Now, we'll just drill these. I'll champ for them a little bit. I'm just going to take the file and hit the edges. Just, I just want a little corner. Alright, 
Let me cut it off. So all this is actually going to be is like a little bushing. Actually, all this is going to be is two little bushings. It's just going to set up on the um, stand. So when you set the telephone or the tablet or whatnot on it, it's going to set off. Of course, I got a camera for it a little bit too. I keep, by the way, if you notice, I keep rare earth magnets everywhere. I think I can get by with that. I get cold, I get a heat. Whoa, that ain't right. Those for sure, that ain't it. Get up here because I've got a drill pretty deep in here, so I gotta drill it basically to full depth. And we'll come back and we'll put the counterboard in if we put the counterboard in the screw head. And then we'll cut it off and we'll counterboard the other screw head. Countersink the other end, which I um, kind of going to do it by eyeball. Yeah. Hopefully, I can get in here and get this little bit of a. Eyeball. I'm not. There we go. Don't think I can get to that screw. I think it's deep enough. That's about as deep as this one. My eyeball. Let me measure it. Make sure, cause I don't, once this is going to cut off, I don't want to try to re-chuck it up. Let 
it needs a little more, I don't mind doing it. That one's 10,000 shallow of all things. I want to look see how that screw lays in this one. I don't think 10,000 is going to be seen. Um, now let's see if we got enough to get our half inch cut off of it. We'll better see if we got enough screw. Or, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got plenty of screws. So, so we got our half inch here. we go. Madam's coming home early tonight. She said, I done tapped one of the holes. I just basically, again, this is not precise. I eyeball lined it up where it just visually looks in the centers here. And then I'm just going to tap it. I have one of these little vices like Mr. Pete made. Uh, this one here actually is a, a one that was, I bought it on eBay for. And it's, been, it's actually a regular, it's a, I don't know if it's homemade or what. It's been used in the saw. It's been sawed on a little bit. But I use it a lot, the little things. And I use it around the saw a lot. So. And all kind of little projects. I haven't relocated my vice inside the shop yet. The workbench is outside. And I'm going to move the vise in here. So, eventually, I'll have the vise set up. My arbor press set up. Right now, it's on that bench outside. Okay. Now, let's just take this out. Check how the screws look. If they look good once I screw them in, I'll put a dab of Loctite on them. They'll be good to go. The... I'm thinking about making some more of these maybe later. I think the next ones I make, I'm not going to put these boxes. See, the first one I made, uh, I made for Chris. And it was, uh, I just had actually found a scrap pile, a piece of plastic. So, Must excuse me, I'm texting. Let me cut that off a second. I took and yeah, I actually used the bench grinder and knocked off the end of the screw, and I just checked it, made sure it would thread. Now, my favorite stuff. When I put stuff together that I don't want to come apart. 648. Baron Mount Loctite. This stuff this is green. Most of the things when I put together like this, you see, there it is. Little dab old 648. That'll, that'll work like a champ right there. All right, we'll start it. Get the screwdriver right there and crank her down. That way it's tight and so I'm not, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back and show you the finished product here when I get done. I see you'll drop the screwdriver, but 
basically all this is going to do is give me my space that I want. See that way my screw don't stick out in the back. Give me, there you go. That's what I'm after. Then the other one will be put in on this side just like it. So basically this is the stand and then you know basically I didn't show because it's partly carpentry basically the back piece is at an angle and this is a simple piece of darling actually I've got some more ordered for the new one but the reason I'm keeping this one is because you know first of all you noticed I've got if you look that down here there's the tab so I'm going to just keep this one because it still ain't tall enough for an Android so I'm going to make the next one, and I actually when I make the next one, I'm not going to put this bottom on it. I'm just going to make these brass tabs and adjust it up to where the Android cord will flow up under it like I need it to. So I'm going to figure all that out. I have went ahead and I've ordered the plastic, and uh, this is just kind of sitting in the bedroom.